when you have a to speak with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Indeed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Do cooperate, won't you? No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm.
Now, now, I'm only trying to help. No, you don't. Spellbook. Meet me in the undercroft. I found something. Do cooperate, won't you? Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Let's look at what we have, shall we?
Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. No herbology, Professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest.
I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Professor Howen will never believe this. Everything's all right now. Revelio.
Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals, Deke? Uh, release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Uh, come and see Deke when you're finished. Someone will never believe this. What are you up to now? What did you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for 30 years. And you thought it would be clever to transfigure her into... You'll never believe what I've... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, 
he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, those as buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Nice to see you, my young friend. Call out for me all you want. I shall be off spending me. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms. If you Revelio.
Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. A centaur! Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. I've seen a Dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio! Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. 
How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Only one way to find out. now and the secrecy no wonder the poachers were in hogsmeade so much likely taking bets and spreading the word given how crowded it is here how could they possibly enjoy this the centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind there must be more dragons here the poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons we should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around but be discreet you especially can't afford to be spotted family. Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Would they join us? Expelliarmus! Ten for England! Accurate! Stupid one! I hate 
Rebellion. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Dragon Egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for us. Alohomora. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Re Let's make them count.
In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Rebellion. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will be useful in finishing your field guide, to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term.
castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Let me also. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Confringo. I should investigate. Levioso. Glacius. Confringo. Glacius. Defender. Accio. Revelio. Assignments all finished.
Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Revelio. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect.
Are you in pajamas? Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to learn your... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. I think you may have... Well done! Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda! Excellent wand work. Cast the spells just like that every time. Assured and in control. Confringo! Bombarda! I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. 
but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Handy resource indeed, your field. I wonder if I can go that far. Revelio. So this is the underground harbor. Rebellion. What Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. You're my second favorite hero! Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if 
you humour me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organised competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'm sorry, I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Re Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Nice underclothes. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, 
You all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the Room of Requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan for the helm had failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook.
I heard, Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Revelio. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matibilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. 
That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no, a person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Rebellio.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Running a bit late this morning, were we? I'll say it again. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Morning, were we? I wonder who lives here. Quite the flyer. Ramrod, who's there? Uh. Go 
goblins will finally rule over wizards. And it's Kruger! Expelliarmus! to learn the error of your ways. Revelio. rather dark in there. Now let's You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. 
I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Lumos. Lumos. Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Ah, yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Bombarda! Akio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Incendio! This room is smaller than it looks. Accio! The Guardian Leviosa! Accio! The Guardian Leviosa! Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Read the world of another Depulsa. I shall sleep better tonight. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Now this is the sort of great reminder. Revelio. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of... Accio! Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Bombarda! Rebellio!
Arrest on the left. Send you. Incendio. Akio. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Incendio! Expel the arms! One bar. All this grass. It no longer feels like a team. Rebellion. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pipe. Arrest over Lovely. Bones outside of our this Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Akio. Revelio. Accio. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. 
The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard.
Incendio. Arrest their momentum. Incendio. Incendio Imperial Stringer. Arrest the momentum Incendio Potato Stupid one Dramatic, isn't it? Rebellion. Incendio. Capulso. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Repulsa. Revelio. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Another barricade. Considering how well we on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how great this would be. I try. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Revelio. Accio. That worked. Bombardo. Accio. Bombardo. Expelliarmus! Defender! Cursed fiends. Accio! Appears some of these stone tablets have two rune symbols. That has to mean something. Accio. 
You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Imperial. Incendio. Potato. Stoop time. Rebellion. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Accio. Rebellion. Sebastian. The relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Rebellion. For my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. 
I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Expel the armor. Let's hurry. Nice work. Don't 
I'm handling it. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Defender. Reparo. Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Revelio.
Past the high wing! I wonder who lives here. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous in the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are up ahead. Ravelli, you need. We'll reclaim what is rightfully ours. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone in the Expel the Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. One I choose. 
Once again, we could fight our way through, or be discreet. Imperial! When I choose... Repulsor! Expelliarch! Protego! Stonebarder! Akio! Expelliarch! Bombarda, Tears, Akio, Vinda, Expelliant, Bombarda, Vinda, Akio, Vinda. Fun is a relative term. Rebellion. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. I should tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. For better or for worse, we're in. Arrest the momentum. Expelliarmus. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. any goblins in these webs too disgusting for even a spider to prey on you're suffering do you Spelly on us. Many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. It's 
no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs. <laughs> Smashing. Really? Should have thought to conjure stairs. Bombarda. Rebellion. Bombarda. Great, you've seen better days. Incendio. Repairer. Rebellion. Rebellion. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Lumos. Lumos. Incendio! <laughs> Lumos! Lumos! Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Imperial! Arrest the momentum! 
You're not a bad chap, for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. A rune symbol, above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Revelion. I'd be surprised to find a couple more rooms. that. Revelio. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, Something about this place feels odd. What do you have there? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. And now for the moment of truth. Rebellion. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Maranweem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. 
Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind, Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my home twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news.
thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Love you also. 